Good evening and a very warm welcome to the match that the internet has been waiting for. Chris Smelling on your left against Caesar Chandiga. It's the magician against the scorpion. It's a race to eight. It's the ultimate Paul Morocco championships and this is the main event. 13,000 to the winner. Alternate break. This is a last 32 match. Almost feels like a final. But we're a long way from the final. And I just saw a post on social media from Caesar saying that he posted a quote of somebody that said, each hill is so tough to climb and as soon as you get up that one, you find there's another one in the way. And the mounting in the way at the moment is Chris Mellin. Fair to say, Chris hasn't played his best pool just yet. Came through a tricky one in the last match on this table before the ladies. Getting over the line against Jean-Michel Yossé. Eventually eight racks to six. Will this one be closer? I know there's plenty of Caesar fans waiting for this one. There's plenty of Chris Melling fans as well waiting for this one. And it will be Chris to break off after an almost perfect lag. And the worst possible start. But there are a few little problems. From Uganda. Predominantly an English eight ball player. Has dipped his toes into Chinese eight ball just recently. But I must admit, I think this is his game. And a nice little tap on the leg there from Chris Mellin, appreciating that lovely little nudge there. I spoke to Caesar just about an hour ago, and he was telling me how he hopes he's not on the TV table because of too much pressure and he doesn't like the shot clock. And I just suggested to him that when he goes back home, he needs to download a shot clock app. I know a lot of the pros are using them now. And if you want to go deep in tournaments and win tournaments, then you're have gonna, gonna have to get used to playing with a shot clock. And it hasn't bothered him here. He really ha does have a great temperament for the game, Caesar Chandiga. It's gonna be a reverse dish off the back of the dry break from Chris Mellin. It seems he has a few fans in here as well. Nice round of applause. Plenty of games as well going on, guys. In the same round as this. Christy Caulfield back in it. In the action once again. 2-1 up against Pierre Damien Cos. Carl Morris, 3-1 down to Lee Kendall. These matches starting at different times. Rashid Wagaba from Uganda sees his good friend. He's 7 3 up on the hill against Salia Tila. Just gone on the hill as well. Abdamani Trophy 7 4 over Owen Amato from Cyprus. Sorry, from Malta, I beg your pardon. Joe Prince, 6-3 up. <coughs> Scott Gillespie, one earlier on over Nicholas Larraquea by eight racks to four. Craig Waddingham in action as well against Michelle Sagridini. Let's concentrate on this one.
It's dry. Thirty second shot clock, one extension of fifteen seconds each per rack. There's few better things than the sight of Chris Mellin in full flow. Calls the extension back down to 10 seconds already. He needs to get on with this. He's going to hear the beeps. Cued it superbly. Just open up the eight ball here as well. Clever little shot. Brian Hawkrout, myself and Chris Mellin just stood talking for about half an hour and got onto the subject of big back swings. Chris said he did try to change it, but he couldn't. Brian Hawkrout replied, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Really does control that small white very, very well indeed. Well, just as I say that, he's messed up there. Don't think he got into the cue ball as much as he wanted to. Didn't really accelerate through, I thought. And maybe that's just one of the occasions where that big backswing can let him down. Needs this tight to the rail. There is a red to the side pocket, to the right hand side pocket. Could also play it to the top right. Could also play a safety. So this is a smart shot. But we all know it needs to be a good snooker to outfox Chris Mellin. Saw him pop one of these earlier on in his earlier match against Jean-Michel. Two rails. Three rails even. Don't think he played it like that, to be honest. Still work to do, those two reds together, I suppose they could be made into a combo, but if he gets the chance he may move them. Very relaxed player isn't he Caesar, just ambles around the table. Yeah, and these are the shots that do trip up, shall we say, non-elite players, especially under these Tough conditions, new cloth, new balls. Hasn't done any damage though, is he banking this bottom left hand corner? Needs a bit of help, didn't get any. really has been hyped up this match online. Caesar fans were calling for Melling even before Chris had got through his last match and even before Caesar had got through his last match. As soon as we knew it was going to happen though, he 
the excitement began to build. We all know him for his great kicking ability and running out, all the great shots he pulls off. Some may not know, he's also a very, very good tactical player, Chris Melling, and he even said he feels confident that he can outsmart him. Caesar actually staying in Morocco. He's not going home, he's staying here until the Hayball event, which starts on the 30th. So he's going to be in Morocco for some time. And I'm sure a check for $13,000 would aid that stay very, very nicely. Thank you. So now I can play this draw off the side route with right hand spin there you see five o'clock on the clock face good stuff here from the scorpion takes the opening two racks he leaves Chris Melling in this last 32 of the UPA Championships. CPP, as you can see on your screens, that's Cloth Plaza Pool. Those matches are also down to the last 16, and we will have last 16 action for you after this, due at 6.30, but obviously it's going to be put back. of pool still to come over the remainder of today and tomorrow of course the big day finals day tomorrow viewing figures for this match. This time a ball down in amongst the balls. a really really good position shot he played from the first red to that one in the side really was look at this some precision position from Mr Melling opening up the eight ball in the route to keep the stroke nice and smooth and full so this will be our first break and run and in it goes from Chris Melling just letting Caesar know he's there ready to play and it will be Caesar to break when we come back with rack number four now Tom Cousins has just started out against Solomane Uzaquit. More crowds coming in. They don't want to miss this. Every seat taken, every standing place taken. 
fist pumps all around. Thanks, guys. What a lovely venue this is. Friendly people, it really is. They love their Q Sports here. I think Chris Mellin must have had about 30 pictures taken while I was there with him for about an hour. No one asked me for mine. And very funny, actually, a guy came up and asked for a picture with Chris Mellin and the guy asked Caesar to take it of him. So Caesar actually took the picture of Chris Mellin with a fan. It's the scorpion to break. It's going to be super important as well, the break, as it always is in Q Sports. But this is very, very messy. side up for the one oh, he's come back down here needs a bit of luck hasn't got it can he slide this yellow past the red into the top left <coughs> there is a safety shot on as well thin off oh, he's not interested he's going for this Maybe just play the carom and make the red. Oh, he's going to move it. Oh, I think he was trying to make the, the yellow in the side with the combo, with the red-yellow combo. So come on, Caesar, show us what you got. Tricky layout. Most players can run out when they're all in the open. get the man at the table knocked out Jordan Shepherd in the previous round these tables and small ball games in Africa it's one of the main disciplines that they play so he will have played on these tables a lot maybe not these particular rassons but then again not many of the pros have played on these rassons are a pretty new addition to the rasson family of tables He is taking these very, very nicely, and he's going to get back the two-rack lead perfectly on this eight ball. The Scorpion strikes again. Crowd enthralled. Such a great, great format this is. I don't really play much Q Sports these days. I prefer to watch and I don't really enjoy practice anymore. I love to play the odd tournament every now and then, but I'm definitely gonna be going back to my roots. And this is the roots of most English people. This is how we started playing. Caesar beat Jordan 
8-6 in his last match. Chris Mellin overcame Jean-Michel José by the same score, 8-6. Now we have a heel hill match for you. Sergei Lenefetz from Belgium. 7-7 seven, seven with Maunia Tulfiki. Apologies for my bad pronunciation. Nothing doing on the break for Chris Melling either. As dry as the Marrakesh Desert. These matches for a place in the last 16. This is a last 32 round. And his good friend Rashid Wagaba from Uganda has taken a 4-3 lead over Scott Gillespie so 